God is going to try us now. Boy, this is heavy. You know, you don't know what you're going to do until you've been tried. And you know, if somebody makes you afraid, that's the biggest trial of all. Because when you're afraid, you do strange things. Or you do nothing at all. You just freeze. But God said he's going to try us, the believers with something of fear and hunger yes, or when you get hungry man that'll make a dog out of you <laughs> and that's why we train to fast some of us fast three days some of us fast seven some of us have learned to fast for 30 and 40 days But if a man is going to try you with hunger, suppose after a few days he don't get any food. One of those boys gave up his whole future for a bowl of porridge. What will we give up if the white man makes us hungry? And when the deal goes down, he's going to keep food trucks from coming into the black community. You may hit the supermarket locally, but after that's ripped off, ain't nothing else coming in. Then what? Then what? We are so completely dependent on the white man for everything. Suppose he cut off the lights and cut off the gas, which he can do. He can cut off the water, which he can do. Where's your rebellion then? Big bad Negro. Come on, please, brother. No lights, no gas, no water. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to survive? Have you planned to survive? You gonna fight white people, huh? You get wounded, what hospital you going to? Do you think they're going to take care of you? If revolution and war break out, will they be our doctors or where are our own? How many of us are learning little basic techniques of how to survive if we're wounded or cut or shot? Or shall we just lay there and bleed to death? How much water have you stocked up? Do you have some beans set aside that if there's no food nowhere, is there some sterno heat around that you can make heat? You ain't even thinking like that. I know. You think you'll always have a Wendy's to go to. You think there'll always be a Big Mac somewhere. No, brother and sister, all of that's going down the tube in a few days. These are days of tribulation coming up. And we're going to have to gird up our loins to get through it. And we're going to have to be family to survive. We got to be able to say, come in here, bring your children. And we all work together to save ourselves and one another. You think individually you die like that. But how can you invite someone in your home when you haven't done it before then? You live alone like a island you don't care nothing about your neighbor come on oh that's that christian brother sanctified and got the holy ghost every time i try to read a 
I add up the Quran to that crazy nigga, he go to talking to me in tongues. That's how we act. That's right. <laughs> but when hunger come, hunger don't know what tongue you talking in. You can say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, or you can get carried away. When hunger grip your backside, you'll be singing a different tune. It ain't the tongue. Is there any agreement here? Yes, sir.